Hello, I am a Bullis student tutor. In this video, we will be learning to evaluate expressions with fractions. In doing so, we're also going to learn about multiplying, dividing, adding, and subtracting fractions as well. Before we start, I want to show you this little box in the top right hand corner, the proof box. Throughout this problem, I'm going to be showing you a few different concepts and we're going to be doing a bunch of proofs to show you how those concepts work. So right now we have this big intimidating problem with a bunch of multiplying, subtracting, adding, and, and dividing signs. We have mixed numbers, we have fractions, and it's just a big mess that's hurting our eyes. So let's make it easier on ourselves and stop by breaking this problem up. Let's first look at the top. On the top, we have 1 half times 1 and 1 fourth. Before we can proceed to multiplying this fraction in this mixed number, we have to pause and take a break and see that we can't multiply a fraction by a mixed number. It's an extremely complicated task. So in order to multiply this, we're going to need to change this mixed number into an improper fraction. And to do so, let's look at the proof box. So we have 1 and 1 fourth, which is almost the same as saying as 1 plus 1 fourth. We are adding this 1 to the fraction 1 fourth. In order to add and subtract fractions, we need a common denominator. So at the moment, we have 1 over 1 and 1 over 4. And we want a least common denominator, and we can see that 4 would be our least common denominator. So we're going to multiply the numerator and denominator by 4. So 4 over 4 and 1 fourth. So this 4 over 4 represents the 1 we had, and the 1 fourth is still that 1 fourth we started with. Now we can just proceed to add in 4 uh, fourths plus 1 fourth is equal to 5 fourths. So the mixed number 1 and 1 fourth is equal to the improper fraction 5 fourths. Now on the bottom we can just replace up 1 and 1 fourth with the improper fraction 5 fourths and we can multiply straight through multi multiplying the numerators 5 times 1 we have 5 and multiplying the denominators 2 times 4 that is equal to 8. And back to our big problem we know the top is 5 eighths. Now we look at the bottom 1 and 1 6 minus 1 fifth. Again we see there's an improper fraction so like we learned before 6 over 6 replaces that 1, add it to 1 6, and you have 7 6 is equal to 1 and 1 6. So now on the bottom, we have 7 6 minus 1 fifth. Before we move on, I want to explain a little something in the proof box. In this problem, we cannot add and subtract these fractions because they do not have a common denominator, meaning they are not like terms. What do I mean by that is, look up in the proof box, you have 5x minus 5. We know we can't do this because we don't have like terms. 5x is not like with 5. So, as we learned in algebra, we cannot add and subtract terms that are not like. But, when it comes to multiplying and dividing, we can still do that. So 5x times 5 is 25x. We were still able to uh, multiply and divide uh, terms that weren't like, but we can't do that for adding and subtracting. Terms and fractions that do not have common denominators cannot be seen as like terms. Now that I'm searching for a common denominator, I realize that 30 is divisible by 6 and 5, so our common denominator is going to be 30. To get 6 to 30, I multiplied by 5, so I'm going to do the same to the numerator and that 7 times 5 is 35 and then 30 also common denominator for 1 fifth to get uh, 5 to 30 we multiplied by 6 so we're going to do the same to the numerator and 6 and now that we have a common denominator we can subtract them 35 minus 6 is 29 over 
30. Now we can go ahead and put in 29 thirtieths for the bottom part of our problem. Now you can see that we have just simplified this big messy expression down to 5 eighths over 29 thirtieths. So now that we are trying to divide two fractions, we don't divide by fractions. Instead, we multiply by the reciprocal. What do I mean by that? Uh, look into the proof box. So we know simply that 5 divided by 5 is 1. Now, instead of dividing, we can easily multiply by the reciprocal by flipping the term. So the reciprocal of 5 is 1 fifth, because we flip 5 and put that in the denominator. So 5, we're going to multiply by the reciprocal, and that also equals 1. So you're, when you're dealing with fractions, that's going to be very helpful. We're going to keep the first term, we're going to change the sign to multiply, and then we're going to flip it to get the reciprocal. So let's go ahead and finish this problem. 5 eighths, and instead of dividing, we're going to change the sign to multiply, and we're going to flip the bottom, the denominator, to get the reciprocal. So 29 over 30, the reciprocal of that is 30 twenty ninths. And then from that point on, it is a simple multiplication problem. 5 times 30 is 150, 8 times 29 is 232. And we can further simplify that down to 75 over 116, and that is our final answer. And just to summarize everything we did, we started by changing our mixed numbers into improper fractions. We then added and subtracted the fractions. Remember, we need like terms to do that, so we need a common denominator. And then we divided the problem, and we did that um, not by dividing the fractions, but instead multiplying the reciprocal. Also, another helpful thing we did was instead of tackling this as a big problem, we changed this into two smaller problems, so we summarized the top and the bottom to change them all into one fraction before dividing those two and coming back together. This has been a Bullis Student Tutors video. If you enjoyed this video, please be sure to check out the rest of the videos on our page. Thanks for watching!